Hey guys, all right, welcome to another vlog. And fingers crossed, hopefully this will be the last one. Hopefully I will get this done in this vlog. That is the plan, but you know, you know, it, that has been my plan from the beginning. And I think this is like the seventh or eighth one. So I thought I would start out by updating you guys because I have made a couple changes already since the last vlog, even though I just closed that out a couple days ago. Let me show you guys. Okay, I am in the upstairs loft and my desk is up here. So my dad actually did help me get that up. I just set it over here in this corner for now. I think that's where it's gonna be, but it's it's not fully set up. I just put some of the things that I needed for, you know, working <laughs> over here. I set up my computer and my scale so that I can continue working for now. Um, there are still a lot of bins up here. Um, I think probably the same amount as the last video. Maybe I've moved one or two down, but um, not too much progress yet. Um, this is a drum set that was gifted to me for the girls. I'm going to have a corner where that's going to be set up eventually. Um, and then here's the rest of the bins that are existing up here. Okay, so that's where I am right now. Um, I have cleared off this wall enough that I was able to inspect it and it actually does really need painted. So I'm glad I bought that paint because I actually will be using it for painting this back wall. Couple other things. Um, I did go ahead and order two more shelves for downstairs. Um, I'm gonna walk down and show you guys in a second what it looks like, but I did reconfigure things again. <laughs> I just, it, that's the process is like, I just have to keep moving things until I get it to work right. But I did uh, move things a little bit again and I uh, figured out that I have room for two shelves. One of them is the one I ordered in the last vlog. It's just not here yet. And then um, I just this morning ordered a, a second one. So that's going to move down 20 more bins, um, but those, there's still probably going to be about um, 10 to 15 bins up here, uh, depending on how uh, many I can downsize and how I can rearrange things, and I'm, I'm constantly trying to figure that out. Um, but again, I am going to be selling off inventory, getting rid of inventory, donating inventory, downsizing, basically, so that I can eventually have no bins up here. Um, so that's the plan. I also ordered a smaller rolling rack, a really small one, um, because I'm gonna be doing my photographing up here now, which I just showed you guys where that's gonna be on the back wall. And um, so I'm gonna have a little bit of a rolling rack up here just for staging the items that um, are about to be listed so that I have a place to hang things when I need to steam and lint roll and all of that stuff. I like to prep stuff and I like to have a place to hang it. So um, I bought a cheap one off Amazon, you know, like a $30 one. And um, so that's gonna be up here. And that way the rolling rack that I have downstairs, my big industrial Z rack is for coats only and oversized items. That's all that I'm gonna have hanging up there. So those will only be listed items downstairs. And upstairs is where I'm gonna have my unlisted items. Um, Cause right now I kind of have it the rack for dual purposes and um i think this will just work better so anyways uh yeah as soon as those two shelves get here i'm gonna put them together and bring down as many bins as i can um to fill those up and then once i get to that point then it's just going to be about arranging and redesigning up here um so i'm almost done with getting the downstairs where i want it to be and then i can start focusing on cleaning up the mess up here um, I kind of haven't done too much up here because I need to see how many bins I'm left with um, because I'm going to have to make accommodations for those. So I haven't done much planning or designing for this upstairs yet until I see, you know, what what's going to be left up here. So, OK, so for changes down here, um, I did bring down a stack of bins. So I'm actually going five high here because I'd rather have a high stack down here than storing more upstairs and I'll just have to deal with if I sell something from that bottom bin it's going to be a, a struggle but that's okay. Um, I actually do have room for one bin here. Um, I'm going to be downsizing this today so I'm going to talk about that in a second but anyway so these shelves are all full. Um, this is all full. I'm going to be removing one of these shoes um, and putting it on that new shoe shelf that I showed you guys because I still have space there. Basically, basically consolidating this shoe shelf down to existing shoe storage so that I can move what was in this box, which is purses. And I have a bag of purses upstairs too. And so I'm going to consolidate those and make this a shoe, or I'm sorry, a purse bin. Eventually I want no shoe bins. I think all the, sh I have plenty of shoe storage on shelving, 
I'd rather have it stored there. So all these shoes are going to be eventually gone. Um, not yeah, gone. I sell, I, I want to sell them. That's, <laughs> that's the point. But anyways, so that will be purses and that will free up. I have one spot here and then I'll free up one spot there. So two more spaces. I'm just trying to maximize. Anyways, the other thing is what I did here. Here, let me back up so you can see better. Um, this shelf used to be flush instead of turned um, towards vertically this way. Um, horizontally, vert ugh, whatever. Anyways, I turned it. So the reason I turned it is because there's plenty of space coming out here. So um, I am going to take this metal shelf, which is the same size. Um, these were the four shelves that were upstairs. I'm going to take that and put it here. Um, so it's back to back. I'm going to do that today. And then with the new shelves that I ordered, one is going to go on the front here and the other one will go where this metal one is now. So that's 20 more bins. <laughs> I'm getting creative. This downstairs will feel like a, um, warehouse when I'm done, basically. It's just going to be all storage down here. So once I get that settled, all of this miscellaneous stuff that you guys see is stuff that needs to be moved upstairs. So this is just like shipping stuff. This is listed inventory that is not yet bagged and tagged. I'm going to have a spa space upstairs for that. I'm not going to be doing that downstairs. So that needs to go upstairs. This is brand new inventory that I just need to process. These are the shoes that need clean still. This is listed inventory, so I need to find a place for that. Um, this I'm probably just going to get rid of. This was like existing in here and I don't really have a use for it. Um, unless I make it a shipping, I might make that a shipping thing anyway. So all of these miscellaneous things need room. Um, this is litter. I just need to put that away. These are shoes that need pro listed. Um, this corner drives me crazy. I need to figure out what I'm doing here. This table needs to go upstairs. That is where I'm going to be measuring and photographing flat items. Um, like I said, this is the rolling rack I have down here. So this will be just for listed inventory right now. This here is unlisted. So once I get that rolling rack upstairs, I'll bring this up and photograph and list it. Um, so yeah, anyways, well, let me come around the corner here. So as you can see, I also filled up this shelf. I think that was full last time in the last video. Um, but I did stack five high again here. Um, this is actually, this is shipping stuff. So this is going to be brought upstairs and, um, then the denim, I'm going to put in my denim storage. If you guys remember that inside there is denim. So I just need to put those away and then that'll make room for three more, three more bins right there. So yeah, I have a plan. It's just a slow process. Here's that shoe shelf I was talking about. There's a little bit of space here. There's a little space on my other existing shoe shelf. So I'm going to take that box and empty it out amongst all of the storage that I have left. Okay, I just got one of the shelves that I ordered. And so I just finished moving it into my office and I'm walking back there now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that together and move 10 bins down for that shelf. Now the other shelf that I had ordered was supposed to arrive already and it's gotten delayed. You know, Amazon is weird sometimes. Sometimes things come really, really fast and other times it's like, randomly like the order won't go through or whatever so anyways they said that if it's not arrived by the fifth today I think is the second or third if it hasn't arrived by the fifth I can cancel my order which I'm pretty sure means that the seller like flaked out so I have to wait till the fifth to cancel that and order a new one um so a little bit of a delay in getting that second shelf in but I'm gonna go ahead and get at least the first one done and that way I'll have enough moved up there's enough bins moved around upstairs that I can hopefully um, paint the wall because um, I need to pull everything away from the wall in order to paint and uh, the bins are what's in the way mostly right now. So, All right, I got my kids out here to help me get these bins down. So I did put together the shelf. I already placed it in that corner. And as you can see here from the angle, uh, the metal shelf that was existing in that corner, I already did move that over as well. I also had started trying to get these bins a little bit in alphabetical order so that as I was bringing them down, I could put them in a better order instead of just miscellaneous and random because I'm trying to, at this point, start making some sense out of where I have bins. Um, Aubrey was upstairs with Amelia and they were helping me lift the bins 
up and down and then Kira was filming for me so you guys could actually see me in action instead of just talking about what I was planning to do. So here we go. That's how it works. All right, you guys. So I just got the one of the shelves uh, put together here. So like I said, the other one's not here yet. I'm gonna have to wait on that, but we did get 10 bins moved down. And now my next step that I need to do is to organize these by letter. So I did start as I was bringing stuff down. If it was easy to get to, I went ahead and moved, but it's gonna go A, whoops, sorry, A, B, C, D, all the way down, and then we'll move to this shelf and do the same process. So eventually I'll have these alphabetically organized. Um, yeah, and that's the plan. <laughs> I'm out of breath because I've been carrying bins. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's how it's gonna go. I'm not 100% sure on um, how I'm going to do the rest of the organizing of the alphabet letters, but whatever, we'll figure it out. Once I get those two shelves figured out, I'll figure out which way to go from there. Okay, this is the current state of the upstairs. It's pretty disheveled because I don't have a system set up yet. And as far as bins go, um, I like I have that shelf coming, so 10 more of these will go downstairs. Um, so there's like four over here and quite a lot still over here. Let's count. So three, four, these are stacked three high right now. So seven, 10, which means all of this will still have to be stored here. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Um, I think the next step is I need to pull the bins away from the wall so I can paint, like I mentioned. And then um, on this side, I'm gonna have my um, photographing stuff set up. So I want to have over here like my mannequin, and my um, uh, steamer and my little rolling rack all in this corner over here. And then this side, I'm hoping to make room for these drums so they're not sitting in the middle of the room in the corner there. And then I want to have uh, my table over here. So I think I'm hoping the bins will fit under the table. I know I can probably fit four to six bins under their table and hopefully uh, that's not going to be all the bins. I have to downsize. I just have to because I need a table up here for photographing uh, flat items and as well as measuring and doing my shipping and all of that. Um, anyway, I don't really know yet. <laughs> this upstairs, as you can tell, I have not fully planned yet. It's um, basically I've just been waiting until I can see a clear picture of what's going to be left up here for bins before I really start planning this. Um, but it looks like I'm going to have quite a bit still left. So it is been a few nights or a few days. <laughs> it's night now, but it's been a few days since my last update or really since I've done much of any work. It's been very hard to find motivation lately to do my reselling work um, for two reasons. When I come out here, I have so much like organizing that needs done that I sometimes get distracted by that. And I haven't been photographing and listing as much as I should be. Um, but also it's been really hard to be motivated because sales are just down. They're just really down. Um, I'm still getting sales. I'm just not getting, um, sorry, I'm trying to remember what I'm doing while I'm talking. And I keep self stepping on bubble wrap in case you're wondering what that noise is. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm just not getting the sales that I'm used to getting lately so i feel like i'm working really really hard to just make a little bit of sales so i don't know i don't know what's going on with poshmark lately it's not just poshmark it's really all of my reselling platforms have been down although oddly etsy has been doing great <laughs> um etsy's been doing really really good of all of my reselling platforms that one is like up um, I'm still not making a lot of sales over there, but I'm making like percentage wise way more than I usually do. I had five sales this month. In the past, I'd be lucky to have one sale a month on Etsy. So that's been good. But um, also I made my first Depop sale. I've only listed about 20 items over there so far since I've been adding Depop into my uh, reselling platforms that I sell on. Um, but yeah, I made my first sale. So that was exciting. I don't know. I just haven't been feeling really motivated to do reselling. <laughs> um, I've still been working a lot. I've just been focusing my work efforts in other areas. Um, you guys see those bins over there with all the stuff sitting on top of it? That, that is inventory that's been photographed and listed, but I haven't put away yet. Um, 
and I don't really have a place to keep that. So it's just sitting up there on that bin. And then I have some bagged inventory that needs to be like put away also and more bagged inventory that needs put away here. So anyways, I've got all these little clutter messes again, just like I did before because I don't have this office upstairs set up yet. So I don't have places for all this stuff. So once I get this set up up here, hopefully it won't be um, like that. But as of right now it is. Yeah. So anyway, I went thrifting today too. I got some good stuff. There's one of the bags right there. I just carried it up. Has like a Lily Pulitzer. Got some Dan Post today. I did pretty good. I got a few good things. So, Hey guys. Okay. So it has been some time since my last update on this vlog. It's been at least a week. This week has gotten hectic again. I did pass my Medicare exam finally. Hooray, I'm so happy. That was really hard. You have to pass with a 90% and um, I failed the first two times. I got an 82 and then an 88 before finally passing with a 98%. Anyways, I'm now licensed to sell. Medicare insurance in Washington state. And now it's Friday night. Amelia just went to her dad's house for the weekend and I am planning to hit it hard all weekend because I have so much to get done. I really want to get this office finished. So this here, this box, I was just about to break it open, has the last shelf, which I'm gonna put together and it's gonna go right here. Um, so I'm gonna do that, but I wanted to show you guys real quick. Once I'm done doing that, my plan is, um, I don't know if I showed you guys, I finished. This corner here is the original alphabet. So the, just the single bins, A through Y. And then Z does not fit here. So I thought maybe I would move one of these purse bins and put Z here, but I actually decided because I need to downsize some bins that after I finish the shelf and moving some bins around, we are gonna go ahead and go through Z bin and downsize that bin. So what I'm gonna do is take out anything that I do wanna still sell and move it to a different bin, re-letter it, and anything in there that I don't wanna sell, donate, and then we're going to get rid of Z bin altogether. So I will have an alphabet of A through Y here, and then here it goes the A alphabet, so A, B, all the way, wrapping around, do, 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 these are all the A's. Dun dun dun, all the way around. Boom boo boo boo. Okay, and it ends at A Z here. And then we're gonna move into doubles. So double A, double B, C, all the way down to across here. And then the new one, which will go right here, will finish off that alphabet. And I have to count again. I think. I think I'm short a couple slots, so it won't be the full alphabet again, but the end of the alphabets will be upstairs because that's just how it's gonna work. And then once I finish that, these triples will be over here. So what I'm actually going to be doing is sliding these together so that the gap is between this and that shelf. I'm gonna start with triple A up here and then it will do the same pattern all the way around. And once I do all of that, I should have, like I said, bins at the end of the alphabet. So I think Y's and Z's won't fit downstairs. And so those will stay upstairs. And then I should have some like OSB bins upstairs still. And then eventually I'm going to downsize. So that's how it's going to work. Um, so what I want to do right now, because all of those shelves that you saw over here are mostly still out of order. So I'm going to put together this shelf and then that way this will be empty and I can put the pieces the bins that go here, here, which makes it easier when there's empty slots to move stuff where it's supposed to be. Because when I moved these ones around, I had to have bins all over the floor again as I was moving stuff around. So anyway, a lot of talking just to explain what I'm doing, but I'm going to get with, rid of all these clutter piles that I have. Um, that bin's just pulled out because I was trying to move these two were pulled out so I can move alphabets around. Um, so once I get this built and do that, those will go away. I need to figure out what I'm doing with this. I think I'm gonna use it as a shipping station upstairs, so I need to empty it and repurpose it. Um, yeah, and then I just have other little clutter piles. Vacuum can stay down here. Um, and then this kind of stuff needs to go upstairs. This is, actually, this is a OSB bin, so I, I think I might end up putting all the OSB bins, just hanging them and putting them on this. OSB bins, by the way, are my oversized bins. So that's for like large coats, sweater, thick sweaters, stuff like that. 
So I might consolidate those down onto my Z rack. This is my wash stuff. So I need to take care of that this weekend along with the shoes, which I think we just passed the shoes in one of those bags back there. And then there's more bins on the floor again, because I was moving bins around and I need to, um, fix that. Yeah. So, okay, let's get started. All right, here I am just getting this broke open here. It takes kind of a little bit of time to get this out because it's it's pretty heavy and kind of awkward and I was doing it by myself, but I was just breaking it open from the sides here so I could get all of the pieces taken out and uh, get started on building it. They did have all the tools that you need inside, including a little hammer, which was nice. Um, so I will link down below the one that I purchased. I got it from Amazon. Um, it's a little flimsy, so it's not the greatest shelf, but it's definitely functional. So, <sighs> okay, you guys, this is why I should not be working when I'm really tired. I was like, you know what? I need to jumpstart on this weekend. Just dropped off Amelia at her dad's house, came home, made dinner. And then I was like seven o'clock. I could lay on the couch and watch a movie or I could go work. I better go work. So I'm out here working, even though I'm so tired and I messed up like four times building the shelf. And I don't know if I can fix this mess mistake. I slipped this on. I don't know if you can see that. I slipped this on wrong. So one, uh, they're supposed to go inside of this. And one is propped out. And I can't get the stupid thing back off. So I might call it a night for tonight. Even though I've only been out here 20 minutes. Because I'm so frustrated. And you know how it is. When you get so frustrated with something, it's like, I just need to walk away and tomorrow I'll do come back and I'll probably get like 10 times as much done in less time if I just walk away. I can't believe I did that. I had already messed up like several other times. Like I forgot to put the bottom shelf in. So I was building the second shelf when I realized I was missing the bottom shelf. <laughs> I had to start over. And then I was turning some of the things upside down. So I had to like back them out and turn them right side up. Got a couple shelves like going sideways and realized that was happening. Had to fix those. I'm just freaking tired. So I think I'm going to call it a night and hopefully tomorrow I can get this thing off so I can put it on correctly. And yeah, so tomorrow's Saturday. I have no other. Well, I shouldn't say that. I have one other plan this weekend. I have hardly any plans this weekend. Um, so I have most of the weekend to dedicate to just kicking some ass and getting this done. So I think I'm going to go inside and veg out on the couch and watch a movie. I have like a really bad stomach ache and I'm just tired anyway. So I think this is just a lost cause for tonight. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, I'm back at it. It's now, I think it's like 830 in the morning on Saturday and I just finished getting ready. <clears throat> I'm going to try again to get these two pieces apart and hopefully I have better luck now that I feel well rested. So let's give it a shot. Look at that. It took no time, you guys. A little rest can do so much good. <laughs> All right. I built the shelf. It only took a few minutes, actually, but um, I put it together, started putting bins on. By the way, these ones from Amazon, um, I think I told you guys, I got these like half the price on Amazon than what I got from Home Depot. <clears throat> they are extremely flimsy to the point where like once the bins are on them, it kind of holds them in place. But even just putting the bins on, I knocked a couple of these off. Yeah, they're pretty flimsy. I would recommend the Home Depot ones over these, but definitely a uh, much better bargain. And I needed to save some money this time. So anyway, I got mostly done. Um, also, I wanted to tell you guys the reason I'm putting these in order in case any of you aren't resellers and you don't know. When I make a sale, if they're out of order, it takes forever to find the bins. So I need to have an order to these in order for me to ship quickly. When I, sh when I have like 30, 40 sales, I can ship really, really fast because I know exactly where the bins are. I know it, it's really easy to find the item once I find the bin. So, um, but I have to have it alphabetically ordered in order for me to do that. So anyways, let me finish moving bins around. That's all literally all I'm doing right now. And then the next step is I got to get all of this clutter that's everywhere down here. Um, put where it goes. A lot of this goes upstairs. Um, so yeah, I just need to, I need to get all this sorted so that I want down here to be done today. That's my goal. That's my first goal of the day. Get this downstairs done. There's Mochi sleeping in his little bed. 
Hey, buddy. All right, I decided to clear off the rest of this shelf because there wasn't very many bins left on here and then go ahead and slide it over into place so that I could go ahead and finish stacking the bins next to it as well as loading these up with the correct bins. All right, you guys, so I actually need to bring the two bins that are below this bin downstairs. It's the double E and double F. I need those to finish off those shelves. <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, sitting on top of them is Z bin. This is the one I was planning to downsize today. And I actually need this bin because it's a stackable bin with a lid. I need this to swap out something um, for the triple A's or triple alphabet section. So instead of just moving this around, I figured let's go through it real quick and get this part over with. Plus I could use a break from carrying bins down the stairs. I've started just since that shelf is right below and the pulley system doesn't work anymore. Um, I've started just carrying them down the stairs and it's exhausting. So I have to take breaks between. All right. <clears throat> let's see what's in these. This first one, I think I'm going to go ahead and donate. This is just a Seattle Seahawks pullover. This actually was donated to me and I find the Seahawks stuff just does not move very well. So let's get rid of that. <clears throat> I'm going to have a donate pile, a maybe send to thread up pile if I find anything that I want to do that with. And then I'm going to have a um, you know, re-bin somewhere else. So I'll have to find new homes for a lot of this. All right, this is something I'm gonna donate also. This is just a Lucky Brand shirt. Again, this was donated to me. I actually have sold this exact same shirt before, but I sat on it for like two years and I think I sold it for like $10 after two years of sitting on it. Uh, plus this is an extra small. So I'm gonna just go ahead and donate that. I mean, you know what, I think I might just make a thread up box for this stuff. Might as well, they can donate what they don't want and uh, yeah. Then maybe I'll recoup a few dollars that I can reinvest in something else. <clears throat> okay, these are Eddie Bauer shorts. This is another brand I don't really usually pick up anymore. I most likely either got this in a donation or got it at the bins. Um, they're actually kind of cute shorts. Are they my size? Nope, not my size. So they're size eight. I will go ahead and just send those to thread up as well. All right, this is something I'm going to keep. So we'll find a new home for this guy. This is a good American sweatshirt. It's a little wrinkled that it came from the bins. Um, I haven't had that listed that long, so I will go ahead and just re-tag that for a different bin. Same thing with this. I haven't had this listed very long. This is a Zara Paisley top. I think it's really cute. Um, that came from the bins. <clears throat> I'll re-tag that as well. Oh, this is so old. I need to get rid of this. This I got from the bins or $2 day. I can't remember. I had a low cost of goods on it. It's 100% linen which is why I bought it and I hadn't heard of this brand seed before, but I've been sitting on this for a long time. It's a size 12, it's a good size, good fabric content. I don't know why it just has not sold, um, but I've been sitting on it for a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and send that to thread up as well. All right, this is Madewell. What is this? This is a Madewell striped top. Oh, dress, striped dress. Oh my gosh, I've had this so long. I forgot about this dress. Let's send that to thread up too. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I still have this dress. I don't even remember where I got that. I've had that listed for at least three to four years. All right, next. Oh my gosh, I have a feeling a lot of this is going to go to thread up. Um, this is a really good brand. This is Sandra Darren, which is like a high-end brand, but I have the hardest time moving this brand. Um, this is a size 14, so it's a good size. It's polka dot. I don't think polka dots are really... Uh, popular style at this time. Um, they have, it has like ruffle bottom. It's actually kind of cute. I could use the word keywords like coquette on this. Maybe I'll, I'll keep this one and I'll just update the listing. All right. What else? This is wild fable. I'm just going to send this to thread up. It's not worth trying to sell. It's a size medium. It's really pretty purple cable knit. Um, I don't know where I got that most likely in a donation. That's not a brand I pick up. So I don't know where I got that one from. All right, next, this is a brand that I almost never pick up, but I did buy this from the bins. It's a Vintage Chico's. Um, I bought this from the bins a couple years ago. I got it because it had this interesting print on it and I thought it was unique enough and it is a linen blend, but it's like a hieroglyphic print. It's very interesting, um, but it has been sitting forever. Nobody wants it, so I'll go ahead and send that to thread up. All right, what else is in here? We're already like halfway through this bin, you guys. <laughs> A lot of this was stuff that just was not worth selling. Okay, these are Yogalicious leggings. I do like selling these leggings. These are so freaking soft. But this is like an ankle length legging and it's a size small. So 
uh, two strikes against it. Smaller sizes are harder to move and ankle length does not do as good as full length on leggings. Leggings in general just don't move as well as they used to. People are just not wearing them as much. Um, this is really cute, but um, it's just a no-name brand. It's like a boutique type thing. Reels, I think, or Reel. I can't, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. It is new with tags. It's a really cute like beach cover-up. Um, I think the tie-dye moment has passed. I don't feel like it's as popular as it once was. And this being not a brand name, it just hasn't moved. So I will go ahead and send that to thread up. <clears throat> Next, this is a soft surroundings piece. Oh, I love this piece though. This is a jumpsuit and it has like the smocking on the top here. Um, so I am gonna keep trying to sell this. It's a wide leg jumpsuit. I think it's a good style, so, and a substantial piece. So I will rehome that one. All right, what is this? This is a pair of trouser pants. They're a striped trouser, size 32. Oh, that's a good size. Size 32, theory, striped, wide leg trousers. I'm gonna try these on, this is my size. Um, these might be a good work pant for me. So I'm gonna try those on. If they don't fit me, I will. Just go ahead and rehome those to a different bin, I should say, not not out of here. Oh, kids clothes. I hate selling kids clothes. They, don't, they just don't move for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and send this to thread up. It's just a little denim jacket for a little girl. And the brand is nothing. It doesn't even, it's not even a good brand. So we'll send that to thread up. That definitely came from a donation. Cause I only, if I buy kids clothes, there's only like three brands that I buy, uh, which is Hannah Anderson. Um, what else? Uh, Mini Bowden and um, Jeannie and Jack. Those are the only three brands I pick up. So this is a Hollister top. So definitely not worth my time selling. It's a boho style blouse with like the crochet and stuff. It's it's cute. I just don't feel like it's um, desirable enough piece for it to move. I've had a long, long time. So let's send that to thread up as well. Uh, these are jeans. Oh, these are current Elliott jeans. I just listed these. So <laughs> we'll find a new home for them. They're just a pair of current Elliott, um, like a straight leg crop. All right, next, this is a band tee. It's actually a tank top, I think, yeah. Jimi Hendrix. I've had this way too long. So send that to thread up. Holy smokes, you guys. There was a lot of junk in this bin. All right, next, this is a little pencil skirt from Halogen. This is another thing that I would not pick up now. Um, pencil skirts just aren't moving in general, but Halogen is not a brand that I will buy because um, it just doesn't have like a following. It's not a, it's not a highly desirable brand for resale. All right, next up we have Pleon, another brand kind of like Halogen. I just don't pick this up anymore either. I find it all the time and I leave it behind. Size medium. It's a cute little paisley popover blouse, but... Um, yeah, just not a brand people are looking for. So we'll send that to thread up. All right. By the way, they haven't processed my last box yet, but I did get a free expedited, um, processing on it and it just hasn't happened yet. Originally they said two weeks and then they pushed it out another month. So it was like a six week processing, but it still hasn't gone through. Um, this is a Torrid top. I still do. I still do want to sell this. I feel like eventually it'll sell towards still moves, just not as quickly and not for as much, but all right, that's a size two. So it's like a two X. All right. What are you? <clears throat> this is a pair of, oh God, these jeans I've had so long. <laughs> um, this is brand else. When I picked this up, I had never heard of it, but, um, it's really nothing. It's not a, it's not a high end brand or anything. And they're just a pair of silver skinny jeans. So not a style people are looking for. Let's go ahead and Send those off to thread up. And what are you? This is a pair of, oh, these are Tory Burch pants. I don't even remember having these listed. I better make sure that these are still listed. They're a gray Chino Tory Burch pant. They are size 25, so it's a small size. And condition looks good. They're a little wrinkled because they've been in here a while. But they are like a low rise skinny trouser. So it's not a great style, but I will keep them because, you know, because it's Tory Burch, so hopefully I can still sell them, but I gotta make sure they're listed. All right, this is Sam Edelman. This is a brand. I don't like selling this clothing line, but um, I still sell the shoes sometimes if the style's right. But these are a, um, a skinny leg jean with the tuxedo stripe here. It's just not a very desirable style, and the dark wash is a hard sell right now as well, I found. So we'll send those to thread up. It's also, like most of this, all right, this is 
Oh, this is a Woolrich. This I needed to relist because the picture is terrible. It looks like it's all stained. It's not. It was just like really bad lighting. And so there was a lot of shadows and it was kind of yellowy um, lighting. So this is a Woolrich, um, like a rolled collar. Really nice sweater. I think it's super cute. Pockets in the front. So anyway, I just need to update the listing and get a better photo of this. So I'm going to leave this guy out so that I can do that. Um, I'll just put it on my mannequin for now. <laughs> okay. Next, this is Leith. This is kind of like the Halogen brand. Another brand that just doesn't have a following is a, um, I think it's a Nordstrom house brand. Um, I think this is kind of a cute top, but I don't know if these flare sleeves are still in or not. Size large. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to try that on. If it fits me, I might keep it. If not, I'll just go ahead and send that to thread up as well. Next, what are you? You are, <clears throat> oh, Lorna Jane. Did I know I have these? Oh my gosh, I swear some of this. I'm like, do I remember seeing this listed? I better make sure this is listed as well, but these are a pair of cropped leggings, but they're black, so I don't know. I'll keep those for now. What are you? Oh, I think this is a cabbie jacket that I've had forever. It sure is. It's a cabbie size medium little jacket. I have had this so long, you guys. I cannot move this. So I am going to send this to thread up. This is something I normally would try to keep and sell, but it's just not moving for me. I think maybe because it has a busier print, but we'll go ahead and send that to thread up and see if they do a better job selling it. All right. This is uh, Lush, another brand I just don't pick up anymore. I grabbed this though because I thought it was really cute. I liked the beaded detail right here. Um, it's kind of like a sheath dress with the low v-neck in the front. It's kind of a, you know, like a going out dress. I just thought it was really cute, but um, I've had it too long and nobody's buying it. So we'll send that to thread up. This has a stain on it. What is this? Oh, I don't know if I knew that stain was there. Okay, this is Ted Baker. Yeah, so this is a pair of Ted Baker shorts, but I just noticed in the bag it has this makeup stain right here. I don't know if that happened when I was storing it or what, but I need to bring that inside and stain treat it because I don't believe that I have that stain on the listing. All right, <clears throat> must have happened in storage. All right, next up, this is Amanda Uprichard. I am gonna keep this. This is a higher end brand. Um, it's just a little lavender shift dress. I'm gonna still try to sell that. Like the good stuff was on the bottom of this bin. <laughs> Um, these are a pair of Vince shorts. I actually think these are really cute size four. They're like a Bermuda style Chino. I am going to keep trying to sell those. There's two things left, you guys. I'm almost done. All right. And then this is a Lucky Brand size small. It's a really cute cardigan. Um, I'll keep trying to sell that. I don't feel like I've had that cardigan that long. And the last thing is a helmet laying top. I am going to keep this as well. It's just this red, uh, like a ribbed knit top size small all right so not much being kept a lot of this is going to be sent to thread up i can just get rid of these bags now because i'm not going to have a z bin anymore so i'm going to use this bin to repurpose for one of the stackers that i need and then i'll carry these down to finish off my double alphabet um section because those are the last two bins to complete that okay guys i am out of breath because i have been carrying bins up and down to make sure i have the right bins downstairs now um i wish i would have had this all like planned and figured out before I started moving bins down. So I could have just put them in their correct places from the beginning, but it just wasn't feasible because I have changed my mind so many times. So it's fine. It's worked out. So anyways, the alphabets on that side of the room are done. The single alphabet, the double alphabet, and my A slash alphabet are done. Now I'm doing the triple alphabet. I just finished doing this stack, which goes A, B all the way through E, the triples. Um, I had to move, I'm so out of breath because I had to move a lot of these bins because they needed to be stackable bins with lids for the bottom four. Um, so I had to move some things around. So I had to relabel those. So I have brought my labels down and I relabeled. Um, and now I have quite a few empty spots. So I'm going to take a coffee break and get a snack because I am starting. Uh, I just need, I need a refresher. <laughs> it's like 930 right now and I'm already exhausted, but I have a lot more to do today. So once I'm done with my snack and my coffee, I'm going to come back, finish up this alphabet over here, and then um, I'm going to finish up the downstairs. And that's going to be the end of this vlog, I think. 
I'm hoping to get this downstairs done within the next hour or two because I want to spend the rest of the afternoon upstairs working on organizing upstairs and I have other things to, I have to like film some other videos and I also have to photograph and do my regular work. So anyway, um, yeah, I'll be back in a little bit and uh, give you guys another update. Okay, I'm moving bins down. I'm really out of breath because I've just carried like eight bins down, but <clears throat> I realized something. I was uh, going up there and I was like, there's still a lot of slots and there's hardly any bins left up here. What, what am I missing? I forgot I didn't make a triple K bin for obvious reasons. So I have to shift everything over and that sucks because <sighs> triple V was downstairs and I brought it off, up because I thought it was the cutoff and I thought I wouldn't need it down here. But since I'm shifting everything over one, I will need it down here. So I just carried it upstairs for no reason and now I'm gonna carry it back down. So that kinda sucks. Now I have to shift everything. And yeah, let's go. <laughs> so J, normally that would be K, but it's not. So it's L, J, L. Gosh, I should've just done it. I don't know, that would be weird. J, K, L, M. I brought down M. N. to go grab T and V and then I'm done moving bins. All right, I'm gonna um, end the vlog here, but I wanted to show you guys what I'm working with in the upstairs loft area. So I did count, I have nine bins left up here, so not much. Um, I am gonna rearrange them, obviously. They're mostly stacked over there still, um, but I have a lot of cleaning and organizing to do still up here, and I still have to do the painting. Also, I have not done the painting yet so this is just the state of where I currently am with my upstairs office so in the next vlog I am hopefully going to get this done organized and um, you know painted and all set up the way I want so thank you guys for watching this very long vlog I hope you enjoyed I am so happy with the progress I've made and I just can't wait to get this finished so thanks for watching I'll see you guys next time bye guys